All right, we're at number 28. This one says that the difference of 3x squared minus 2x plus 5 minus x squared plus 3x minus 2 is multiplied by 1 half x squared. What is the result written in standard form? All right, so really I'm just going to write it out again. 3x squared minus 2x plus 5 minus x squared. I'm gonna you got to distribute this negative, though. That's the most important thing. So that negative goes into everything. So minus x squared minus 3x plus 2. So let's underline everything that goes together. That's going to be 2x squared. That's a minus 2x and a minus 3x minus 5x. And 5 plus 2 is 7. OK. So now we have to, the result is multiplied by 1 half x squared one-half x squared. What is the result? So now we just got to take half of everything. So a half times two is just one. And then it's going to be x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Five times a half is just five halves. And that's going to be x to the third. I hope you guys know how to do that. When you're multiplying x's, you add the exponents when they have the same base. All right? so that's x to the one times x squared is x to the 3. And finally, 7 times a half is just 7 halves x squared. And you really can't do anything more at this point. Um, we're leaving it in this form because we can't simplify uh, expressions that have uh, different bases. This is x to the fourth, x to the third, x squared. So that's it. Put a circle around it, or a square, or whatever. You can even say, hey, look at me. All right, you get the idea, though. And that's all you got to do. You're done. Number 28. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to do compound interest problems. Uh, this is number 29. Dylan invested $600 in a savings account at a 1.6 annual per interest rate, 1.6% annual interest rate. He made no deposits or withdrawals on the account for two years. The interest was compounded annually. Find to the nearest cent the balance in the account after two years. And uh, the way you're going to do this is, you know, you can memorize equations for it, but really, I'll just show you the steps. In uh, method number one, okay, all you're going to do is you're going to put your starting value in first, then you're going to put parentheses, and it's going to be one point, whatever the interest rate is. So since it's 1.6%, we have to convert that to a number without the percent sign. So 1.6%. The percent sign tells you move the decimal place over one, two spots. So that's 0.016. That's what you're putting in here. It's 0.016. And the exponent is just how many years you want to uh, um, compound that number. So this is two years. So your equation is 600, 1.016. We're doing that two years. Okay. So let's figure out what that is. We'll do 1.016 times um, 600, or I'm sorry, 1.016 times 1.016 times 600. And we get 619. So we've got 619.35. Three six, and they want us to round to the nearest cent, so that's six nineteen point three five, and that's it. Let me just make sure I did this right. One point oh one six squared. Where's my squared key? Squared equals times six hundred. Yeah, that's it. That's all you gotta do. So again, your percent without the your interest rate without the percent, you have to convert it. That's the main thing. Don't forget to do that. So how are you guys at converting? If I told you the interest rate was 8.3%, would you be able to tell me what I'm putting over here? That's 0.083. What if it's 42%? What would you put in there? 0.42. Or you put the 42 in there. That's it. That's all you got to do. All right, number 30, this one says, determine the smallest integer that makes negative 3x plus 7 minus 5x less than 15 true. All right, so when I look at this question, first thing I think of, or that I notice, 
is that this and this it's not fully simplified so we should do that so negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8x so that's going to be negative 8x plus 7 is less than or equal to 15 so now treat this like an equation minus 7 minus 7 negative 8x is less than or equal to 8 now here's a tricky thing you're going to divide by negative 8 okay but you have to know what happens when you divide by a negative number with an inequality when you do that it flips the sign so that crosses out and you have x greater than and 8 over negative 8 is negative 1 so here's the nice situation we got to we will know that x or our number has to be bigger than negative 1 so determine the smallest integer well on the number line I mean I'm doing a little extra here but if there's 0 there's negative 1 negative 2 1 2 it's uh, not including negative 1 so the next biggest integer is 0 so we want all the numbers bigger than negative 1 and the next integer like I said is 0 so we have to say uh, smallest integer and I can write a little sentence but smallest integer making this making this expression true true is x equals zero that's it you're done